Right here, what's up guys? Well, let's go back here and today we are going to be playing some Fatigue Warlock. You guys know how much I love this deck. Um, it's one of the cooler combo Warlock decks. Um, you, you win the game through shenanigans that have to do with Crescendo plus Encroaching Insanity. Plus Tamsin, you know, you make them take a whole bunch of fatigue and you just kind of hope it works out. Um, with a meta full of Reno Priest and Quest Warlock, I don't know how well it's going to work. But I'm hoping that, you know, maybe a lot of Reno Priests might not be expecting it. And then all of a sudden we get to kind of steal a couple wins. Um, it's kind of my goal right now. So, yeah. Anyways, though, with that being said, how about we queue up the first game and let's just see how it goes. All right, guys? Yeah. That being said, I will see y'all there. Gul'dan versus Jaina. You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. Alright. Um... Let's hard melt all of this. Not really what I'm looking for against a mage, I'll be honest, so... Yeah. Zuliax, also to be fair, is not exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll take it, I guess. I love this card. Void Crescendo, or Void Virtuoso. That's what it's called, Void Crescendo. Um, pretty dope card. like to play it. Okay, we can copy a fell spell. I think the only fell spell is Crescendo? Right? I'm not tripping. Uh, yeah, I think it's like the only, yeah, it's the only fell spell in the deck. So, hopefully it's going to be pretty good. I don't think I really need the file against the control slash combo deck. This might be one of our harder matchups we face today, I'll be honest. Oh my god. I fucked up and I just flipped all my hair in front of my fucking eyes to try and like spread it out a little bit, let it breathe. But it got caught in my headset and that was not pleasant, I'll be honest. Um Alright. Honestly, I'm recording super late tonight because I kinda got fucked at work and it was it was a little bad, I won't lie. But I got fucked at work. It's actually super fucking tilting because it was one of those things where it's just like yeah i got fucked and there was nothing really i can do about it um i work today normally i have a dishwasher today i had no dishwasher so it just made everything just that much harder just because like i didn't have someone else i could have do part of my job. Well, I even shouldn't really even say part of my job. I just straight up had no one that can do anything. And it, it got pretty annoying, I won't lie. Alright, that's fine. Trip Castrendo. I'm gonna probably play this into this and this next turn. Just so this way his deck has a shitload of fatigue. When I draw some encroachings, it's going to be pretty good. So, well, you know, it builds it up beforehand and kind of see where it goes. Okay, that's fine. Is he trying to burn me out already? Fuck. It kind of feels like he's trying to burn me out, fuck. Uh, I don't feel safe tapping anymore, I'll be honest. Fills deck up with a whole bunch of fatigue. Right, so right now he has, what, 12 fatigue cards in his deck? 
And all I'm saying is, 12 fatigue cards. Deck that wants to draw a lot of cards. Unless he has like 11 damage burn in hand. Should be pretty darn good. He has, what, almost over a third of his deck is just fatigue. Or agonies, whatever the frick you want to call them. So, yeah. Anyways, also before we get too much more into this, I hope y'all have a beverage. As you know, I'm currently drinking myself a nice cold brusque. I love me a nice cold brusque, fuck. Um. And yeah. Crescendo does deal down to all enemies. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Alright. We're about to say I'm excited to see him draw a whole bunch of agonies. Someday I'll be just like you. I don't think this is gonna work out the way he wants it to work out, is it? I don't know if it is or if it's not, but... Luna definitely doesn't work. Oh, I mean... If that's a random spell you got, I can't even be mad, I'll be honest. Uh, oh well. It is what it is. Let's uh let's just skip the next one. All right. Um, I'm gonna actually keep the fracking while everything else. All right. Any game where he doesn't randomly RNG a fucking bloodlust to try to be able to kill me, I feel like I should be fine. Okay. Um, let's start with this. Pick the fracking. Honestly, all the cards are decent, but fracking is the card that gives me... Again, it gives me more cards to see. I was going to kind of, like, get there, you know? I want the curse. I also want the lackey. Okay, I'm gonna take the curse. It's the safer play out of all of them. Yeah, it's the safest play I feel to take this. Tap here. Okay, well. How many more shadow spells do I have? Dark bomb. Encroaching Stellarium to file. Is so a one and three to hit good? I can play to kill something. The time has come to throw our former master. Alright, well. I'm gonna go for this play. Not the prettiest play in the world, but Alright, well it drew me the same dark bomb which I used to kill this. You can have three, I'm at twenty. It's not that bad. He's playing some control deck, therefore, a world where I have, you know, four, or f yeah, four crescendos, plus the pop car value, plus the tams and fatigue value, plus encroachings. I'm going to save the coin, because that technically allows me, on turn 10, to go tams in, encroaching, encroaching, curse, 
Do like an actual pop off fucking turn. I want to tap, but realistically, it's not feasible. I'll be honest. Alright. I'll kill you this turn anyways, fuck. Would have been a great card to be able to play here. Uh, probably playing Lothab next turn. It's it's a free play, realistically. Well, if it's still my turn, I get a, you know. Either way, I actually get a tap for free. That's probably just this. And then my turn ten, I hope I just draw Tamsin and Popgar and try to just get. Farm some amount of value that way, you know? You have to draw Crescendos, I've yet to draw a uh, Grave Defiler. You know, there's a couple cards I'm missing. Just doing that to back have to have back one of them in my hand. I'd probably take four here if I'm being honest. But I had no real way of killing it. Or not. It's actually doing the trade. I have no real way to gain life efficiently besides. Uh, let's just do this, I guess. Gain some amount of life with that. Should have filed first. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not quite lethal right eight fatigue is not quite lethal but it's also not too far from it hmm. eight factorial is what one two three four five all right, one, two, three, seven. Wait, one, two, three, six, ten, fifteen, twenty one, twenty eight, twenty eight plus. Ah, uh, doesn't actually check out. Fuck. Twenty-eight plus eight is only thirty-six. I actually hit the pop guard, beautiful. Oh, I wasted too much time doing math. I had killed out this turn. Be fair, I should have played the agony instead of playing this. If I had played the agony instead of playing this, uh, I was in a better position. So I could still pop off next turn, put him to three. Uh, fuck me. That, that game was solely lost because my APM was too slow and my brain is too slow doing math at this hour of the night, fuck. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's uh, queue up the next one. Alright, 
right. So, it's a rogue. I want touch. Ah, oh, I thought this was. A... Man, my brain is lagging to fuck. I feel it's one of those things where I don't know if you guys see the same, but sometimes your brain just doesn't feel all there. Uh, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. My brain only feels part present, and I can tell it's because I'm fucking just tired. Um, I want this thing. Um, yeah, I can tell it's because I'm just tired and I don't want to say I want to go to bed, but I feel like I should go to bed. No, it's, it's one of those days, honestly, where work was really rough and I'm like, I kind of want to go to bed, but I have a whole bunch of shit I need to do before I leave on vacation. So yeah, such as record these videos. My plan is to record two more videos after this. And then, depending what time it is, edit a couple videos, so this way, tomorrow night when I get home from work, I have a little bit less to do, you know? I need to pack and do all that type of shit. To be fair, I'm planning on packing tomorrow morning when I wake up, before I leave to the store. And I'm going all the way down to Verdun, and, uh, it's gonna be, tomorrow's gonna be a long fucking day. Tomorrow's gonna be a long fucking day. Um, I can pop go here. Uh, uh, as what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I know that those might not be the creatures that have the most amount of damage. But this card is actually not that bad against the uh, rogues in general. These plus this is still really, really good in my hand, I'll be honest. Let's do the face for four. I'm gonna gain eight this turn. Hold up. He takes one, two, three. And this does. Alright, let's honestly that's that bad. This card is gonna save me next turn, I think. Yeah, you know, I guess if I draw another crescendo, I'm gonna like I'm in the clear, but it would be nice actually to draw this thing. Blood and plunder. That feels like the wrong order to play those two in bot. Um yeah, let's just do this here. Taunt, Divine Shield, Lifesteal, like, you know, like, poke and trade both of his guys, his face and his guy in. I gain a million, fuck. Alright, 
That's fun. There you go. I actually got a win. Let's go. I'm I'm happy with that. Fuck. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one. All right. Druid is uh, gonna be an interesting one. Not as much as where I actually feel like I can get off like a full full combo. I'm excited for it. I'm excited to try to actually pull off like the dream, I guess is what this deck like the dream for this deck. Because I mean like basically if I want to explain what the dream is for this deck you have a turn when you have this resolve, right? You go Tamsin, you make you guys both take a million fatigue, right? Like a million fatigue, basically, right? So what is that? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fatigue. Plus you give them double or quadruple curse of agony, right? So that's, that's already a lot of shit for them, right? And then after that, you go Popgar into Quad Crescendo, and you just win the game. I don't want to say that's the dream, but that's kind of what the dream is. So, so I'm trying to go for here, and we're going to see if it works. I have both encroaching. Take the curse here. I'm gonna break hard at the start of my turn. Fun. I have to waste a coin here. It feels really bad wasting a coin when it's part of my full-on combo. There's one crescendo. It's, I guess, okay. Well, if I hit pop guard, I'm probably fine. What's that? Oh, he actually took an embrace or an encroaching. Oops, and pop guard, fun time. Uh, let's ramp here, I guess. Fuck, man, he actually stole, like, two insane guards against her, from me.
fine, actually. Hmm. Yeah, let's let him trade Dex this turn. He wants to try and commit Dull Master into this bullshit. Hmm. Oh, I just killed myself. I'm an idiot. Job done. I forgot that I was so low. Man. I feel like I could have played that game so much better. I honestly just got super fucking tilted after he stole Popcar. I'm like... He stole, like, probably, like, the two best cards in my hand. The only thing that would have been better if he stole both encroachings. I was like, man... There's not pop card encroaching anything else in my hand I felt like I could win without. Like, if he took Curse of Agony, if he had taken Removal, if he had taken whatever else. It was, like, the two cards I felt like I couldn't win without, and he took both of them. I was like, imagine if I would have been able to just deal an extra fucking seven damage to him plus wipe his board. Like, it's not even just wipe his board, it's wipe his board plus Reno. It would have been insane. But Theo single handedly won him that game. It's so wild the fact that there's so many cards in this game right now that I could just say, like, single handedly win a game that are considered tech cards, you know? Rat will single-handedly win you some games, you know? Lotheb will single-handedly win you some games. Theo will single hand Like, it's actually absurd. I don't know any other game where it's like, yeah, if you play Magic, you could say like, oh, well, Blood Moon will single-handedly win you a game against Amulet or Tron or, you know, name another, like, one of those type matchups where it's like, oh, there's like a million cards you can just claim well, single-handedly win you the game, and it's just, it's not that it's not true, but it's like it's only half true. Right? It's like man, it's just hard to explain unless you play a lot of card games, where sometimes some shit is true, and it's just you can't really explain it. And, or, like, you can't explain it, but unless you, like, are actually in-depth at knowledge, it's one of those things where it's just like, oh, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you're wrong, you did single-handedly lose to Theo, but even if I made misplays throughout the game, if I still had both encroachings plus both crescendos and the pop guard, I had won that game no matter what. Like, straight up, I will say it no matter what. No matter what he did the next turn, if, even if he didn't have lethal on board. Me being able to go... Like, if I would have went, you know, Tamsin... Or, sorry, if I would have went Popgar that turn, you know, wipe his board, pass. 
Then I went to Tamsin, deal him a shitload of damage. He just died. But, okay. It is what it is. I'm not going to continue dwelling on it, trying to explain myself. It just doesn't... It doesn't really help anyone when I justify the fact that, to be fair, at the end there, I did do a huge misplay, though, which did technically cost the game, but the game was lost once that Theo resolved. My deck just stripped and not have enough damage to kill him, and it is what it is. If I was playing on ladder and I wasn't playing, like, you know, making content on it, I would have probably conceded on the spot there, because my deck... Was gonna do like a max of another like 40 damage, 45 damage. And by the time that happened, I was dead 13 times over, you know? So it is what it is. Oh well. I had fun playing the deck nonetheless. I, I do really, really like this deck. It's one of the very few weirder combo aggro turbo like warlock decks I do enjoy. And if you have all the cards, I mean, I would try it out, but also though the deck is not, you know, it's, it's not S tier. It's like C tier, if not D. So, hey, okay. anyways, it is what it is. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs. All right, guys. Yeah. With that being said, I will see y'all there. Peace.